Good evening, I'm Otelia Edwards. Tonight's top stories. Japan's Prime Minister Kishida facing scandal and sinking polls announces his resignation, saying it's the best move for the public and a necessary step to prove party reform. So, who's in the running to replace Mr. Kishida as leader of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party? And what qualities will the LDP demand? We turn to a political expert for insight. A Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will not be running for re-election in the Liberal Democratic Party's leadership race next month. It paves the way for a new Prime Minister to take the reins. A 67-year-old says he made this decision considering what's best for the public and also what's necessary to show that the party is changing. A series of political scandals have marred the LDP's reputation and Mr Kishida says he must take responsibility. ま、所属議員が起こした重大な事態について組織の長として責任を取ることに伊作坂の中長もありません。ま、今回の事案が発生した当初から思い定め心に帰してきたところであり、ま、当面の外交日程に一区切りがついた、この時点で私が身を引く
。私は来たる総裁選には必須はいたしません。Mr. Kishida added that he chose his timing to announce he is not seeking re election as his diplomatic schedule is now settled. He wrapped up a key diplomatic mission on Tuesday with a phone conversation with his Mongolian counterpart after skipping a planned three nation tour to Central Asia last week. He canceled the trip due to an unprecedented mega earthquake alert issued by the Japan Meteorological Agency following a magnitude 7.1 quake off Kyushu last Thursday. Mr. Kishida's term is marked by several achievements in foreign policy. He mended ties with South Korea to a positive level not seen since Japan's colonization of the country, allowing deeper security cooperation to counter the threat posed by North Korea. And he brought ties with the Philippines to a quasi alliance level amid China's growing assertiveness in the disputed South China Sea. Under Mr. Kishida, Japan also strengthened its alliance with the U.S. further by enhancing security cooperation and unveiled its biggest military buildup since World War II, approving a hike in defense spending as the country faces a more complex security environment. Last year, as chair of the Group of Seven Industrialized Nations, Mr. Kishida hosted leaders in Hiroshima, where an atomic bomb was used against the civilian population for the first time and called for a world without nuclear weapons, as Russia threatened its use and North Korea conducted nuclear tests. He warned that East Asia could be the next Ukraine. Domestically, he pushed for the use of nuclear power on the back of rising fuel prices and promotion of carbon neutrality. Despite lingering concerns following the Fukushima disaster more than a decade ago, he also gave the green light for Fukushima plant to release treated radioactive water into the sea, a key step in decommissioning the reactors, despite opposition from China. A tragic incident which shifted into criticism towards his party was the assassination of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in July 2022. The incident revealed Abe and the LDP's deep ties to the controversial Unification Church. Mr. Kishida said in his news conference on Wednesday that he still has work to do. He wants to revise Japan's post war constitution, promote political reform, and support the recovery of Noto Peninsula from the New Year's Day earthquake. And he will need to prepare for any further quakes and a typhoon expected to hit the Tokyo area. On Friday, Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.